Hi everybody, I'm Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And today we're here at StretchSense. Uh, we did a previous visit with them here at SIGGRAPH 2022 where we learned about the, the new StretchSense glove that was released. But this time I'm here with Chris and he's gonna show some new integration specifically with Unreal Engine. Exactly. So, so what's going on here? What are you showing? So what we have here is we have our hand engine software is actually outputting pose data into Unreal Engine 5 via the Live Link plugin. So what it then does is it says, if this pose, trigger X. So for example, if I do that gesture right there, sorry to blind you a little bit. Thanks so much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is able to turn on the lights, not only in the Unreal scene, but in real life itself. I can turn that on and off. I've got multiple lights. I can do this neato little 80s synth wave scene for those Stranger Things fans. I'm able to use gestures to control events in the Unreal environment and in real life at the same time. So a little bit about this, like normally uh, your hand would be moving and the live link connection would be driving the poses of the bones within the, th the model. So are we sending additional channels and then are there blueprint nodes in Unreal then that receive that channel and, and that's what's causing a trigger? Does exactly. it trigger an, uh, so does it trigger an, an actual Unreal Engine event? Just yes. like it can trigger anything that we want. We take the hotkeys, we basically turn poses and gestures from hand engine into hotkeyable triggers within Unreal. Now it's not exclusive to Unreal, we have plugins for most software, but in this particular use case, yeah, it's directly into Unreal, we can trigger things just with gestures. Using so so once this happens, then yeah, so we the trigger comes in, it's an event, and from there I can I can do whatever I want to do dynamically right. with objects within the scene. Exactly. Or uh, I imagine like these lights might be on are these on DMX or something? Yeah, it's a DMX. It's a theater lighting setup because we're all there's a lot of theater kids at the Seattle office, so we thought we'd integrate some of our nerdy theater technology into this. But this is just kind of a science fair example. You know, I could essentially fly a drone with this technology if I wanted to. I could have put these in the hands of Dua Lipa doing a Fortnite concert that wants to change the lighting effects or cause an explosion in the background, whatever they want to do. This enables the user to control what's going on in the environment and not have to have a technician be using a stream deck off somewhere to make it happen. So that's your pitch, that's what you, that's the next person you'd like to work with? Is that oh, what Dua Lipa? You're... Listen, if she wants to hang out, I'm, I'm open to it. Uh, Ma'am? All right, there's Chris, Chris Mudd. You know how to reach him at StretchSense. Um, so this is really cool. I, I really love that you've actually developed something that specifically integrates with uh, the blueprint system, the right. event system in Unreal. Um, it really opens up a lot of possibilities without normally someone who is developing might have to develop their own types of triggers based on the, the poses of the fingers. Right. Um, and so this could then, I imagine, actually be used then to puppet characters, oh, right? Absolutely. So absolutely. We've, we've had use cases in the animation sector where people are flying, you know, they're, they're using this to animate trees, attaching tentacles and using physics to, to drive their illithid characters. It's such a robust solution that it's actually quite limitless as to what you're capable of doing. And what's important to us is that artists and creators are able to look at this as a creative tool that inspires them to come up with interesting, crazy ideas that we would never comprehend or think of at Stretch Sense, right? Like I said, this is a little, a little show. This is baby mode compared to what people on the internet are gonna do. I know that going into it. I just wanna get it into their hands and see what they can come up with. No pun intended, no, all right. Well, a little bit intended, let's be honest, let's be honest. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. Everybody, thank you for joining, and until next time, have fun.